I am about to unlock the ultimate guide to build muscle mass and size. It's that time to transform your body, you know, to the next level. You know, that you can wear a t-shirt and it's fitting fully, fully of the t-shirt you wear is fitting you. Do you understand? If that's what you want, then make sure to watch this video all the way to the end. Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's to Fit Fitness. Yes, sir. Now, before I get started, make sure to pay the algorithm by smashing that like button, share, comment, subscribe for all the people out there that need valuable tips to take their fitness to the next level, their physique to the next level. Build a physique that I can be proud of, you know? Follow me on my social media platforms. Um, if, you want to take, if you want to build muscle, muscle then check out the, the uh, Bodyweight Revolution program. And also, and also, if you want to take your health to, and want to stay next level, then check out the complete vegan guideline. Link in the description. So let's get into it, man. I've got for you the five best ways, the, the most efficient way to build muscle mass based on my years of experience training. You know? So let's break it down. First and foremost, is number one is strength training. So what is that? So strength training, I'm talking about compound build compound exercises that boost your testosterone which you get build muscle mass and size what exercise am i talking about i'm talking about deadlifts bench press squats push-ups pull-ups dips all these all these extra all these uh, compound movements and that uh, they target multiple muscle groups at once simultaneously you know, which are able to burn calories, burn fat, and build muscle mass and size. That is that is how uh, how powerful how powerful um, how powerful uh, doing compound movement is. So you need to make sure that's part of your workout resume. If you don't, then you know you're going to struggle to build muscle mass and size. You know, that's how I come from. Especially when it comes to weight training, be able to build muscle faster. Um, you do do, do weights compared to doing body weight training, you know, with this more pressure, more resistance to tear down the muscle fibers to go bigger and stronger. So strength training, make sure start doing it today out to your compound movement. You know, every time, every time you are, for example, now uh, my my speed is PPL, so that's I'm working each muscle group two times a week: uh, legs, biceps, arms. You know, call all of that two times a week. So I've got the volume and I'm going to build muscle mass and size. So, for example, now if you're doing legs, you need to be doing a uh, start off compound movement doing squats. If you're doing, if you are doing back, start off with deadlifts. If you're doing push day, start off with doing bench press. That is the way to build uh, muscle mass and size by doing compound movements. That's the most effective things that you can do. Now, step number two, which is very important, progressively overloading, which, is, which means progressively getting better. If you're not progressively getting better, get out of your comfort zone, then you will not grow. I know if you know what I'm saying before, it might sound cliche, but success doesn't happen inside your comfort zone. It's when you're outside your comfort zone, when you go through the pain, you have to, you have to uh, break past a barrier. Keep breaking past barriers and that. You, you, for example, now you've done uh, dips 20 kg. Um, the, the next week you do 25 kg, then 30 kg. That's for any exercise. You're compounding, getting better, more pressure, and more gains. You know, there's no other way. It doesn't matter start, what side of training you're doing. It doesn't matter how long you're training for. You have to continue, especially when you've been training for a while as well. You have to push yourself even further, further, further away from your comfort zone for you to, uh, for you, for your physique, to, for your physique to continue to expand, to grow. Just stand. If you don't, if you don't, if you don't do that, you're not going to gain muscle mass and size. I'm telling you right now. You can look at that, that mirror disappointed. You know, because you're not progressively overloading, progressively getting better. That's step number two. Number three, which is, uh, which is a, a color, being on a caloric surplus. So a caloric surplus basically means that you're eating more than you're burning to gain weight. If it's the other way around, then you are shredding, getting lean. You're not building muscle mass. You just be able to lean muscle weight. When you put on size, 
We talk about we're building muscle mass and size, then you need to be a growth surplus, eating more than you're gaining. And how you can find that, how can you find how many calories to eat? You know, is go to a Google and type in caloric, caloric surplus calculator. You know, go for the top link and afford the assumptions. You know, and the feel the, the social as accurately as possible, so it gives you accurate numbers. So you you gain weight, and you need to be gaining weight gradually each and every week, week by week, month by month to gain weight. You know, and which means you eat caloric uh, caloric dense uh, foods. You know, which I'm talking about, especially when it comes to the carbs and the oats, the um, the the white rice, the white potatoes. You know, the, uh, all these uh, things that are caloric dense, but the carbs don't give you the size. The, the, the protein give you the muscle, high protein foods. So, uh, um, me, I'm vegan, five years old, I, I get my protein from legumes, legumes, beans, nuts, seeds, vegan protein powders, are also to boost my protein intake. That's how I build muscle mass, uh, that's how I build a uh, size, you know. If you don't eat enough, you're not going to gain. You're not going. You're not going to continue to to gain um, weight, build muscle mass. You know, you have to make sure I eat enough and sustain it for a long period of time. It will take time. And then you build muscle mass and size. That's the way it works, and that. You know. So and it's it's a, it's a challenge. It's a challenging because you 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 you, you have days where you're uh, you are you're gonna have days where you don't feel like you you don't feel like eating. Yeah, I feel like you want to feel like eating. You feel like just having one meal a day or two, but you have to pull, continue to push yourself. Not listen to your, uh, listen to your uh, emotion, but listen to your logic. You've got to do it to get the, the uh, to gain weight to reach your fitness goal. You got to always keep that in mind. So, because uh, if it's high in protein, which protein is very high, make sure that your your carbs intake is solid as well, and make sure that okay, your healthy fats as well is solid, and make sure your vitamins and minerals. I'll add the fruits and vegetables into your equation as well. Very important for your health and well-being, for your vitality, to boost the immune system, to protect you from, but to fight against illnesses and diseases and that. You know what I'm saying to you? Very important as well. Yeah, you gotta take care of your insights. That's first and foremost. Then, uh, then the body muscle physique start, uh, is afterwards. But people, the people, the the body over your bound, which is uh, which is a major mistake. You don't want to be one of those guys, and that. you take care of your health first, and that. Uh, make sure that your diet is packed with high nutrients, vitamins, minerals, which you get from fruits and vegetables. Yeah, make sure that's in your part of your diet. You know, and um, now we're going to move to the next step, which is number four, which is. Enough sleep and recovery, you know. So how you can recover as much after your workout to start to do stretching, stretch out a full body stretch. That's what I do every day. Full body stretch. It could be yoga or just general stretching, you know. That's going to loosen up the muscle, the tension in your muscle because when you work out, your body, your muscle is tight. Just that need to you need to stretch out, stretch stretch out to extend your muscle to become loose, you know. That's going to aid in your in your recovery, reduce muscle soreness. You know, fatigue, and you're, you're back ready to go again for war, go, uh, go and put, put that work in, in the gym, or at home, whatever you prefer to train. You know, and sleep in seven to eight hours and that for your body to recover. You can train all you want. You can, you can eat all the best foods in the world, the best diet in the world, you know? But if you do not sleep seven to eight hours every single day, then your body, you haven't given your body the, the leeway to recover. To cover your 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 bloodstream, your cells, your muscle tissue, ain't gonna work, and you're gonna wake up fatigued, tired, and you can't be at your best anyway. You can't SP at your best anyway. You can't hit that new PR. It's impossible because you're not sleeping enough. That's a that's the most pillar number one. Out of this busy world and that people doing so many things, so many things and that, so many responsibilities. It's the a part put time aside every single day, going to bed at the same time and waking up at the same time. That is that is how you go to recover. This is for your mental health. You know, your focus, your your memory, your, your energy, your enthusiasm, all comes having a great night's sleep. And it's a very important puzzle to achieve fitness goals and overall to uh, have a successful, happy life. If you're not sleeping right, you're not happy. You're gonna be angry, stressed out. And when you're stressed out, you know, you're in that in that mode, you activate uh, uh, cortisol in your body, which will get able to gain weight. 
Yes, I are the way you lose, where you're gonna gain weight on necessary uh, weight gain. You know what I'm saying to you? And uh, well, you're not going to uh, what you call it, get to the, the, your ideal physique because now your body hasn't recovered. So always keep that in mind. Very important sleep. So important. I can't stress that more, uh, can't stress that more than enough. And now the last part is step number five, which is hydration. You need to make sure that you're sleeping. And make sure that, so make sure, make sure that you drink enough water. You know, just enough hydration. I'm not telling you to drink, I'm not, I'm not telling you, I'm not telling you to drink three liters, four liters, five liters of water. No, 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 no. That when you when you do that, <laughs> uh, when you call it, that's too much water because when you drink too much water, that's a whole new video itself. When you drink too much water, you'll flush out your your the, the bacteria in your body, the vitamins out of your body. But water just it washes your body away. It doesn't hydrate your body. But that's a whole thing itself. The whole point is to make sure that you drink enough water, just enough that they are hydrated, you know? So but your, body, your body needs it because your body, for a fact, is that uh, it's 70% water. Everything, your organs, your kidney, your liver, your brain is all full of water, you know? If you, if you want water in your body, then you're not alive. You know what I'm saying to you? That's, that's of all living species now. They've got water in their body. Same, same with human beings as well. So make sure that you drink enough water you know what I'm saying to you, for, uh, that's going to of course aid your recovery, balance your weight, you know, cleanse the body, clear, clear, clean your skin, you know, nourish your organs, that's uh, very important as well. And I recommend uh, drinking spring water, that's what I drink, spring water or filtered water, not tap water because that's full of toxins, chemicals, you know, start clean and long term start good for your health. So start investing in spring water, you know, or filtered um or filtered water, very important, you know? So you get some of the trace minerals, not all of it, you get some of the trace minerals, you know, to nourish your, to nourish your body, you know, for your health and well-being, but that's first and foremost. Health and well-being first, and then goes build a muscle. <laughs> it's not the other way around, and a lot, a lot of people get confused. If you, get, if you do it other way around, then you're in big trouble, you know? Before you know it, you're gonna have um, uh, long-term health issues. You know, and then, then, then your build a muscle doesn't stand for nothing. It don't mean anything because it's not healthy inside. There's a lot of people mistake that are making. You have to make sure that you take care of your insides first. The most important muscle comes second. It will take care of itself. You know? So that is, these are the five best ways to gain weight, the best way in an effective way. So if you've got both eyes, you watch it order to the end, let me quickly recap so you can write this down if you haven't already. It's uh, introduce strength training, progressive overload, progressively getting better. Number three is maintain. Number three is to be in a cloak surplus, high protein, carbs, fat, and also very important for your insides, vitamins and minerals. Number four is uh, enough sleep and recovery. And number five is make sure that you, uh, that you hydrate yourself enough. So that being said, that's the end of the video. Make sure to obey the algorithm for all the people out there that want to build muscle, muscle mass and size. Smash the like button, hit that share button, comment down below. Let me know what video you want to see next based on your fitness goal, what you want to achieve, what you are struggling with, you know? And check out, follow me on all my social media platforms. Check out my, um, what you call it? Check out, check out, uh, my uh, bodyweight revolution program if you want to build muscle in, and uh, get fit in four weeks and also the complete vegan guideline to take your health and wellness to the next level protein, carbs, fat, everything that you need to build a strong physique and fit a strong body so with that being said, thank you for watching it's your boy T, it's your boy The Fit Fitness and I'll see you in my next video peace